Saturday, Dance Green Swanica Protest, and I thought I would just um, um, share some insights about my process of writing a poem. And as you can see, my super duper messy handwriting, this is the first draft of the poem, and I will go back and, you know, revise, strengthen, improve, word choice, you know, line choices, etc. So I use a lot of literary devices in my poetry, and I've got, like, in the beginning, I've got some alliteration with D and Dark, D and Disc, and I, you know, I use punctuation throughout, you know, some poets throughout history have um, very idiosyncratic, you know, punctuation, like Emily Dickinson, E.E. E. Cummings, etc., and I use the ellipsis. I love the ellipsis. The ellipsis is a very versatile punctuation mark. It could mean omitted material, like a large quotation, passage of time, or even a reflective pause. So I use the ellipsis for usually one of those reasons in my prose and poetry. And as you can see, some of these, uh, sometimes I'll highlight different word choices. If I'm not sure, I'll, I'll put like word choice question mark meaning or LC line choice question mark meaning I'm not really sure. So I'll highlight or put comments or questions in the margins to question my own word choices and line choices. And right here I have a parenthetical aside that I seem to like so far, although this interjection I might be changing you know, in the future. This is the first draft, so this can go through many iterations before I really decide to finalize the poem. And I've got all kinds of, you know, words that I've highlighted, and I have a question mark, so I'm not really sure if those are the best words, uh, you know, uh, in those particular areas of the poem. Another ellipsis. I, colon, that's an excellent way to introduce information, whether it be poetry or prose. And um, I'm very careful of, um, of my punctuation marks. If it looks really messy, it's that's really a hyphen right there. And I've got horrible handwriting, possibly dysgraphia. I also have dyscalculia, which is severe math disorder. So for those of you that have dyscalculia, I feel your pain. <laughs> um, I have great difficulty, you know, with the financial, you know, or just numerical, anything to do with mathematical issues. So anyhow, and this is my poem in its entirety. Of course, I've got, you know, uh, metaphors. I try my best to put, you know, similes in and assonance, different rhymes. I use free verse usually in my um, poetry. That's usually one of my, you know, trademark traits, I guess you'd say, or characteristics of my poetry. But yeah, what's very important, and for those of you that are writing your own poetry, just keep in mind, it's important to just get your ideas down, because you're going to throw out a lot of ideas. As you can see from my um, scrawlings here, that I have a lot of ideas that I've thrown out, words, lines that I, I'm questioning, I'm not sure if they're the best, if they're working well in the poem as a whole, so... You yourself will have to make these decisions, or for those of you that are already, you know, are writers, you know, you're already making these decisions of your, your artists of, you know, um, whatever your art happens to be, you're making decisions constantly, just like I am as an artist, and poetry is my art. But I just want to show you, so all of this chaos here is, uh, yeah, this is the first draft, and, uh, <clears throat> this is my art in its you know early stage and everything. So this particular poem inspired by a beautiful pre-dawn moon hanging right over one of my teenagers' schools as I was you know dropping them off in the morning. And uh, I wanted to share a, just a little bit about my composition process. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but I don't you know want to go on and on and on about it because I was gonna take a you know, take a lot longer. I might someday in a longer video, but this is just, just sort of sharing just a few, you know, tidbits about what I do and, you know, what, um, quickly comes out in a writing frenzy in the, you know, in the first few minutes of creating a poem. And it's so important, the 19th century author, Guy de Maupassant, who said, get black and white, you know, just as what I interpret as, you know, just write 
get your writing on paper. You can always go back and revise. So if you first, whatever you write down for your, your first draft, if you think, oh, that's garbage, that's, you know, it's trash. I also think that too, a lot of my work as well. Then I have to go back and sometimes completely overhaul it, revise it quite a bit. So, you know, millions of us worldwide <laughs> know this process, the process of, you know, revision, strengthening, improving, changing. It really does, um, you know, mean a lot, especially, I, I guess I'm concerning. I mean, all art, but I guess I'm just focusing on my art, which is poetry. Revision really, um, you know, improves writing tremendously. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your own uh, your own writing endeavors. So anyhow, that's it for now. That was just a, a just a, a piece.